Thank you. Thank you. Uh, good morning, noble people. Uh, our topic, my subject is heart. It's all about heart. The heart of the per perfection of wisdom. Now, before we kick, get the ball run, rolling, I hope my accent won't choke you. <laughs> okay, there. I'm going to put down some words over here so that it can remember what I say later. The heart of the per perfection of wisdom is all about heart. Now, first, before I dive into the heart, I want to ask you your take. But first, may I ask a favor of you and show me your mobile phone. Show me your mobile phone. Yes. I'm asking you to check everything you can get on the website and prove it yourself then now we have to do one thing put your hands together put your hands together first namo sakyamuni Namo Sakyamuni. Namo Sakyamuni. Namo Sakyamuni. We respect, we respect Sakyamuni because Sakyamuni, Sakyamuni, let us know the true heart. Okay, now we've got a heart and also we, we've got a mind. You know the mind. <clears throat> now I put it down. We are going to tell nature. From the nature ah. okay. Ah. nature the nature Was there anybody? Let me know. Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? What's your take? Who do you think you are? Uh, I'm a person. Oh, yes. And then. And then next, are you still a person? A hundred years later, are you still a person? What do you think you are? What do you think you are?
you are a person? Sure. For the moment. But not forever. Not forever. After a century, 200 years, who are you then? You know. There's no knowing. So you think we are what we are. Now, you tell me who you are, your thinking, you are what you are, then who do you think you are? No knowing? Can you tell the difference from the nature and the nature? What's the difference between those two? There's noble guy. Uh, I can't quite catch you. What's the difference between nature and denature? Let me see. Let me see. You are thinking, right? You have to think. You've got a brain. Use your noodle. Okay? Use your noodle. Brain. Okay. So, I think, let me see, use your noodle, that's all your mind. That's the nature, that's the nature. Your true nature never change, and you know not what this person is. You do not know who you are. Do you agree with me? Is there any objection? You really do not know who you are. That's why we do samadhi. That's why we meditate. That's why we try to get home. We try to get there. And you try to know you are one of Buddha. Are you agree with me? Are you sure? Are you sure you are a Buddha? Sometime after this life, how do you spell? H D double D H A. Okay. <clears throat> Now, let's get to the first sentence of Buddha's, uh, well, is there no people, any people can let me know the first sentence of Buddha saying, Sakyamuni's saying,
Now, all sentient beings possess the wisdom and the virtue of Tathagata. Only, only they cannot obtain it due to uh, delusions and persistence. Can you show me the sentence? Can you split the screen in two so that you can follow me, my words, on one screen and the text for on another screen? Now, let me read it again. All sentient beings, including every one of you, possess the wisdom and the virtue of Tathagata. Only they cannot obtain it due to illusion, uh, delusions and persistence. And so you have to watch here and there, uh, here and that screen, this Sakyamuni said, after achieving his Buddhahood, he said, all sentient beings possess the wisdom the vir and the virtue of Tathagata, but they can, only they cannot obtain it due to their solutions. Illusions. Why people, why sentient beings are different from uh, what's the difference between sentient beings and Tathagata? What's the difference? Is there any people want to point out? For me, what's the difference between Tathagata and uh, you and me? Uh, yes, delusions. And what's the core of delusions? Okay, that's good. And ended up, is there any other people want to say something? What your take, this person? Yeah. Ignorance. Yes, oh, ignorance. And then, what's your take? Our greed. Our greed. Our greed. Desire. Desire. Everything. <clears throat> That's delusions. Allow me, allow me to pick a word for you. Your one thought is just an ignorance. Do you agree with me? One thought, your thinking, your one thought, it's just an ignorance. Because of ignorance, because you have a thought, because you have a thought, and Because of a thought, you move away, just fall down into flame, into uh, sentient beings, into this body. 
This is why we are different from. This is why we are away from nature and become the nature. So this is the nature body, and you just do not know who you are, because because you are changing. You don't even know yourself. You are not really have to exist in this world. Is there anybody do not agree with me? That's why you are practicing meditation. You want to get back. You want to know your nature because you are in the in the nature. We do not know who we are. Now, it's all about heart. The definition of heart, hrdaya, uh, atman. That's Sanskrit. Sanskrit. Uh, is there anybody know hrdaya, atman? The term of Sanskrit, hrdaya. It's all about heart. It's all about heart. Nature heart, the nature heart, all of them. Now, the first line, first person. Who is thinking? I want to take. Wake him up. Wake her up.、Uh, yes, noble people. Let me know. What's heart? What do you think the heart shall be? Use your mobile. Check it out. I'm not sure I pronounce it、uh, perfectly. Her daya. Her daya. That's. Uh, Sanskrit. Is there anybody know know those characters? No. Some people. Yes, the smiling people. The noble guy.、Uh, well, will you say this word for everybody? Pronounce it. How do you pronounce? Ah,、uh, hrdaya. It's okay. Okay, hrdaya.、Uh, now. I've got some answer down there. The heart, the heart, the soul, mind. Is there any people without soul? Is there any people without mind? People's soul, people's mind. People with delusion. So, delusion mind, delusion heart. People, we people have got denatured heart, soul, mind, etc. Then that's not what we. Not what we need. Then move down further. Stop here. Six. True or divine knowledge. True or divine knowledge. Now, true knowledge, divine knowledge. Do you have true knowledge? Do you have divine knowledge? Then the next people tell you, "This noble people, this line, the second one, you." Yes. Uh, well, you let me know the sort of definition for true knowledge, divine knowledge. Uh, 
but to conservation and meditation. One day everyone can find the truth. Okay, one day in the long run. Okay, in the long, 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 long run. One day. Okay, so the answer is uh, sort of have have perfect uh, well divine and true. Let's get back here nature and denature uh, oh let's say there's one word is perfectly translate the situation pra mila okay is there no, is there any people who do not know pra mila you know no 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 nothing about this pra mila then, then check it out. Check it out on your mobile phone. When you get there, when you get there, you've got true knowledge. You've got divine knowledge. Did you get the answer from the website? What did you, what did you read, Pramita? Everything. Okay. Okay. A brave person, a brave, noble person. You, all of you, have to learn about her character. She's a good, noble person, brave enough to answer all questions. Now, you, is there any people who still do not get the meaning of true knowledge, divine knowledge? <clears throat> now, your home, suppose there, there's a real true home for you. You have a true home. True home, you never get home. When you get home, when you reach your home, your true home, that's true nature, that's true heart, that's pramita. And then you have wisdom. Before that, there's no wisdom. All wisdom is coming from Buddha. Sakyamuni, let us know about everything true. Sakyamuni, tell, tell. Sakyamuni tells only true, only true, true things. That's Sakyamuni's wisdom. That's Sakyamuni's knowledge, not ours. We learned from Sakyamuni. When a person, when you get home, you get a pramira, you got, you will get to know everything. True. You will know truth. The truth of the whole universe. Mm -hmm. That's the heart. Now, Let's uh, keep going. So the difference between Tathagata, uh, Tathagata, and uh, you, the difference between you and Tathagata is delusion is all about thinking. You never stop thinking. You've got a lot of thoughts. So, will you answer me? What's the obstacle exists there when you meditate? What's your obstacle? Okay, thinking. Oh, you never stop thinking. So what should you 
what should a person do when meditate? Mm -hmm. It's all about taming thinking. Do you agree with, with, with me? So you will have to tame your thinking. How to tame your thinking? How to tame your thinking? Now, <clears throat> you've got a thought. That's the only way you have this thought to tame all thoughts. Do you agree with me? You've got a thought. This thought, you have a thought, you uh, have a way of doing meditate, uh, tame all thoughts until you, until there's no other thoughts coming uh, that, uh, that push you back from going home. You cannot go home because of thoughts and your thoughts is just like game, be game. Now, suppose there are bees going down to hit you, bees a lot. And you are meditating here. They are your enemy. They are thoughts. You just shut, kill them, kill them, kill them all. Otherwise, you will be killed. That's the game. Now, when you meditate, those are those thoughts are your obstacle. You are not to kill them. You are unable to kill them. At least in the beginning, you are not able to kill them. So, how can you do? Tame, tame all of, all of them. And finally, finally, destroy this one. Destroy the only thought exists in your mind. When you destroy the last one thought to get home, that's what the meditation working for you to get home. <laughs> Are you agree with me? So you, all, ab all, about, all about your meditation is going home, is going home. And all your obstacle is about thinking, is about thought. Your thoughts never, you are not able to stop your thoughts. You are not able to stop your thoughts. So why? That's why you have a thought to tame all of your thoughts. Well, is there any people can introduce me your way of doing meditation? Mm, okay, second line, the third person. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let them go. Leave them alone. How can you leave them alone? How? How can you leave them alone? They are come to bite you. They are policemen. They want to catch you. You got caught up by policemen. So that's why you fall in six paths of reincarnation. The cycle of birth and death. That's why. Because you got caught up by policemen. Those policemen are Thoughts, okay, thoughts. How can you free from uh, policemen? How can you free from policemen? Now, will you tell me the third person? Will you tell me how you meditate to free from yourself, from the policemen? How can you do? What's your way to free from policemen? There must be a way. Mm, do not follow. And what's your way? You've got a way. You've got a gun. You've got a gun. What the brain is your gun? Um, how can you bring back your mind? Pay attention to the mind. I do not know your way of meditation, but I'm sure that there are many ways to, to meditation, to contain thoughts, and finally, uh, really, you a person really free from thoughts, and in the long run, kill the last thought and get there, get home. And so the point, the point is how to tame, tame them more. How how to tame them all. Now, if there's a way that you can have your power, you've got a net. Suppose you've, you've got a net. You've got a net to catch them. You've got a net to catch them all. Catch them all. That's, to, uh, that's the way to tame, to tame your thought. You've got a net. All thoughts shall be caught by your net. Is that the way to the meditation for you? I'm not sure. But some people do. Some people do. Now, suppose there's a twister. Okay, twister, gather everything. Mm. Twister, twister. If you got a twister, then the twister will catch all thoughts. That will be good. Don't you think so? Twister in America, South America. American twister, strong, catch everything. Your way of meditation might be like this. In the beginning, 
you leave them alone, and maybe someday you catch them all. In the long, 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 long run, you destroy what you catch, and you get there, and you get there. Will it be a good way to get home? Maybe, maybe. Well, let's continue or proceed okay uh, now you are thinking you are thinking to question me but you will not i do not have time for challenging okay so we are defining uh, we are defining heart and uh, the true heart and the fake ones the fake ones delusions everything all of your noodle your your brain out of your, everything out of your brain is fake everything out of your brain is fake is there any people disagree with this is there any, is there any people disagree with everything out of your brain is fake so you are what you think what do you think who you are then i'm saying you are what you think you are what you think you create your own self, create the denature, the fake one. So that's why you sitting here. That's why you look like this. And without knowing the next you, do you know a hundred years later who you are? There's no knowing because you are not making yourself up to be what you like. You are changing. You are not able to decide your future as you couldn't decide you present you and the past you are not decided by your denature self so that's why we have to meditate to ask this noble one now your noble one never change that's buddha never change do you know you are a Buddha, Sakyamuni tell us, all of you, all of us are the same as Buddha. In the first sentence, we just read, all sentient beings got the same nature of Tathagata. Only they cannot obtain it because of delusion, because of delusion. That's why we cannot get there. So it's all about heart, heart and fake, a fake one, that's mind, that's thinking. You are always thinking, you just cannot, you just not able to tame them, tame them. We cannot, we are not able to destroy them. When a person destroy all the delusions, all thoughts, then the person is a Buddha. Now, let's moving on. That's all about heart. I'm not. Uh, uh, I'm not defining heart. I'm just translate something from uh, wisdom of Sakyamuni. So that's the heart. Uh, the character of hearts. Now let's know a little about a little about. Uh, the character of true nature, your Buddha. <clears throat> ten directions, ten directions, you know, ten directions. Uh, how vast is your true nature? As vast as, as vast as the whole universe, the ten directions, north, south, east, west, Northeast, southeast, southwest, northwest, above, below. No ending that your Buddha. Second trait. Sit sit a pet. Sit a sit a pet. Sit a pet. <clears throat> okay. The second one. Okay, stop here. Sit a pet. This is Sanskrit. <clears throat> Your true nature. There will be no thought at all. True nature is the extermination of blah blah blah. Are are how do you spell this? How do you pronounce this? Arha, arha, arha. Okay. Everybody know arha. Okay. 
Then the second one, Ami Animira. No form, no sign, no nothing. Nobody like us. It refers to the phenomenon itself. The essence. The essence. The essence is nothing. The essence is empty. The body, of course, empty. So it is empty. Move, move down to the next point. So anikera, no attachment. A person who does not have a fixed entity or a person whose heart does not cling to a certain image and do not lose his freedom. Okay, that, that's the characters for uh, me, uh, for your Buddha. So when a person gets the Buddhahood, the person must experience all three, all three. Experience, the person must experience those conditions like that. And uh, now let's share uh, some, the sixth Zen Patriarch teaching, Hui Neng, Hui Neng, the sixth Zen Patriarch, Hui Neng, said five point about Buddhahood, five point about. There are five point. <coughs> first, the first point is pure, purity, purity. Your, your Buddha is purity. We are not impurity situation. We are in difficult situation. You know, we are not pure. So Buddhahood is pure. The second point, free from birth and extinction, free from birth and death. We are in the cycle of birth and death. We are suffering. There's no birth and death. The, the third one, we could have expected that one's essence could be complete. So, that's perfect. Buddha, Buddha condition is perfect itself. It's perfect. There's no faults. There's no, uh, uh, nothing like us. We do not, we have desire, non-ending desire, and you cannot get all you want. That's a suffering. And your Buddha, is complete and your Buddha is perfect. Then for a uh, four point, the fourth point is that's wisdom. That's wisdom produce all the principles of the universe. That's with wisdom. Like a mirror, your mirror is stained and cannot ref uh, reflect the truth at all. When your mirror is clear enough, then your mirror reflects everything true. That's wisdom. So this is wisdom. You, you have wisdom. Who, uh, who could have expected that one's essence could be changeless? Okay. What's changeless? We never stop thinking, so we are changing all the, all the time. We are changing. We never stop changing. You cannot decide your next life that's changing. When you get to Pramida, there will be no change at all. That's changeless. Eon, Eon. Eon, eons ago, your Buddha is there. Eons later, your Buddha, you, your true self, your nature is there. Never change. Never change. So, that's changeless. Okay, move on. I think we know enough for true self. We know enough for your heart. The point is, how how to get there 
how to get there, how to get home, how to meet your own Buddha. There are 25 ways to get there. There are 25 ways to get there. Is there anybody know Aga me? What's what Aga me? Cha? Is there any people can get Cha and Jing for me? Samyut Chaka Samyut Chaka me. Sam is the Samyut Chaka me. Aga me. Tell us. Tells us that there are 25 ways of meditation you've got your way of meditation you have to compare your meditation to those 25 if your meditation do not meet one of those 25s you are going the wrong way we've got 25 ways to get home all in this sutra the sutra this, this sutra Show us, shows us 25 ways of meditation, 25 correct, right ways of meditation. So, uh, all you have to do is check with this sutra to know if you are doing, if you are going the right way to get home. Those are 25 ways of meditation. And, and, We've got a good way to get there in those 25 ways. We, Virya Chan, our way of meditation is one of the 25 ways listed in this Samyuk Agami Sutra. Did you get the Sutra? Did you get the Sutra? The Sutra listed. 25 way of meditation sim uh, sim yukta uh, sim yukta sim yukta that's the point so all i want to tell you today is this i'm telling you this that's okay that's okay for other words but you have to remember this 25 ways to go home 25 ways to go home you have to check you have to check your way of meditation so that you won't go on a wrong way that cannot lead you home did you get me i'm not sure your way of doing meditation is good or bad or i know nothing about you but you can check it out and make sure your way of meditation is a good one to lead you home. Many people cannot get home because of doing the wrong meditation, because many people do not have a good way to go home. Uh, well, Roma, Rome, not all ways to get to Rome, many ways to get to Rome. Some ways cannot get there. Are you sure your way of getting home is the correct one? Are you sure your meditation? You have the perfect way to get home. If you do not have, have the perfect way to get home, then check the sutra and find 25 ways and check it one by one. There are 25 ways of composition. Composition. You just check it out. Check it out by yourself, not by your teacher. You have to check your teacher by yourself. If his teaching or her, uh, his teaching is correct, then that's okay. If not correct, find another way that is perfect out of 25 ways in Sum Yukta Akami. I hope you know you get something from my words today, and I hope you can get home quite soon, as soon as possible, I think, as soon as possible. It's a long, long way to go, 
But some people can get there right away, very soon. Have you heard of something? Some people get there just in days, in weeks, in years, just not next life. Some people, many people, many people get there by doing a good way of meditation. If you feel you are not improving yourself in meditation, you cannot go any further. If you always caught by police, police, you always caught by policemen. Why you are not challenging your way of meditation? You have to challenge your meditate your way of meditation. Maybe it's wrong. I hope all of you doing the same, uh, doing good meditation and using the good way, the correct way to go home. You would better not to be caught by policemen. You would better use your way of meditation so that you can tame your thoughts. You can tame your thoughts and you can caught your thoughts like this American twister, like an American twi twisters that catches everything and destroy everything. Destroy your thoughts and then get home. If there's any, any thought, if there's any thought, including your way of meditation, that should be destroyed before getting home. Now, th that's all I have to share with you today. And I hope uh, you enjoy this moment and you prove yourself that you are not true. You prove yourself in the future that you are a Buddha. So, I've finished my topic now. I've got other words for you except my subject there. So, and this is An Jing Ho. Is there any people who know this sutra? Raise your hand. Is there any people also? Only one people? Two? So two noble guys know this. Other people go back and just skim through and find 25 ways and check it out. Check your meditation way and make sure you, you've got the correct way to get home. You are not going the bad way. You are not going nowhere. You are not going nowhere for your lifetime. You are not wasting your time to go nowhere. Okay, best, my best wish for you to get home soon. So remember the sutra over there and share with your teacher also. Let him to check himself for you. And you, you must make your de decision to go the, the fast way, to uh, go the correct way and get home. We are getting home. All of us are Buddha. So you are noble people. All of you are noble people, not just the people, not just the people. That's uh, what a Buddhist should be, look like. Okay. Then, now, what do you have after my words?